by the time you see this video um, you won't see the reveal just yet of the whole FZ09 project What is up my beautiful people? All right, man. So this is like a continuation of the fork rebuild. Y'all don't know this though, but we took a break because one of my friends, they need, my boy Jerry, he needs to work on his transmission today. And I mean, me and Wolf Moto, man, we're going to go over there and help him out. Freaking, uh, Wolf go get some shots of me. And uh, yeah, this is just a regular Sunday, man. We're really just enjoying ourselves knocking out all our automotive projects and stuff like that i should have worn my other helmet that way i can eat me grapes while i'm sitting here like that's real fancy right i just found out that i could do this hold on Ugh. i i did not know that i could drop my shield and um yeah didn't know that with glasses on so to those people who didn't know that there you go yep so yeah, uh, I cleaned the bike kind of. If you see the chrome is kind of nicer and the mirrors don't have the little funny wax stuff on there. All right, I need to I need to be like 1000 right now because I just rolled the FZ09. Um, by the time you see this video, um, you won't see the reveal just yet of the whole FZ09 project. Not even project, but just rebuilding my bike. Uh, it took a year and a half. The only reason it took a year and a half is because parts for that bike was like almost non-existent. Um, most bikes have a like a plethora of used parts for the FZ09. There are, are I don't know what happened to them, right? I I don't I know people crashed them a lot, so I assumed that it was going to be a lot of parts out there for that bike, and it wasn't. So this vlog is just basically covering everything, bro. Like um, realistically, I thought that i was going to uh, get all the stuff together and it, it, you guys don't know how hard i was hustling to get this bike together in like a small time frame I, I i gave myself like a month or two to knock out everything and um the wheels uh i think the wheels the 2015 wheel that i bought was like 115 or something like that okay and then I had to swap stuff over that cost me like a hundred dollars to swap stuff and then the forks themselves bro it took me a year and a half to find some forks that were 849 dollars the assembly and, and those and those forks actually was leaked they, they were leaking they had weak seals on those so i had to go get those rebuilt so you know I'm not gonna lie to you. I I just got on it and I was like, whoa, like blown away because I haven't really been on a on a sport bike. This shit is sad. Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. You didn't even oh. you didn't even hit it like that, bro. Bro, it's not even in. I didn't even have it in no fast speed. I had it in standard. What the? In a while, like I said, I had this bike here for like a year and a half now, and not even that long. Probably like five months. You know what I'm saying? And um. I'm legitly, I love this bike. And I know what the SZ09 is capable of. So I, I miss that rush. And at, and at first I just don't, I didn't understand it. But now I get it. I, I, I get what I was, I was looking for. I know exactly what I was looking for. That rush. My, I only got on the bike to take it around the block a few times and my heart was pounding. Like, it was doo -doo 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 -doo. And there's a part of me that's still a little nervous of, 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 of that bike. Just because I crashed it on like a technicality. You feel me? It wasn't like a... <laughs> it was... <clears throat> It wasn't like a, um, like it, the, the way the turn was and the way I'm explaining to you guys, it, of course it was totally my fault. I'm the one operating the bike, but I didn't think that the corner would be so bad. And, and what I realized, uh, so are we going to the right or the left? Right. I get a pretty good stop. 
you know, it, it, it was it was all rider error, you know. The the corner I misjudged the corner speed for that corner. A lot lot tighter. The, I'm gonna be realistic with you. I learned a lot. Like, there was a, a a lot of moments there where I was saying to myself, like, I cannot believe, you know, that not only did that happen to me, but I, I can't believe that I made it out, like, not so messed up, you know. And, and that's I have to attest that to the gear that I had on. You know what I'm saying? Like the gear I had on was so was so good that I, I literally got up no broken bones no nothing my shoulder hurt a little bit but I was definitely on it you know what I'm saying and 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 now that like the LZ is, is officially back I'm kind of like at odds I think, I think that Camaro wants to smoke. I think he wants to smoke. Mm -mm. Uh, but I, I learned a lot. Like, I learned a valuable lesson, especially about street rossi and, and, and all that stuff. I'm, I'm committed to myself to like, take it easy. Now on this bike, I don't have to take it easy. This bike here is a couch. So realistically, speeds on this and speeds on the FZL9 is two different speeds. Okay. <laughs> uh, but all right, guys, I'm gonna cut it back on when I get to the highway, man. You guys stay tuned, man. This is this is probably gonna be one of my realest freaking motor vlogs I ever do, cause. Uh, I did some talking about the feelings you feel after the crash. I talked about the accident, but now we in the realization that the bike is fixed and we back. And all I gotta do is go get the bike registered, like, and and figure out what I want to do. Do I want to keep it? Do I want to sell it? I I really don't want to sell it just because it just has so much sentimental value for me. Um, but I'm tired of crashing that bad boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, people be hitting me. I got hit. Waiting at a red light. You know what I'm saying? I, I got I got hit waiting at a red light. Cold tires, wet roads, like so much stuff that took me out of the game on that bike. And um Yeah. Hell yesterday I rode this and I was like, man, I I don't know. 